Hey friends, it's Holly and welcome to Living It Country. Today we have another gorgeous home we get to tour today and I'm so thrilled to be sharing my friend Kimberly from Sweet Pickin' South on Instagram and she is gonna be touring her beautiful vintage antique farmhouse styled home. So you guys are gonna get so much inspiration from her today, I can't wait. So without further ado, let's go ahead and tour her home today. Hey guys, it's Kim over here with Sweet Pickin' South. Um, I wanted to do a little home tour. It's brought to you by Holly over there at Living It Country Channel on YouTube. So I just wanted to say a big thank you to her for thinking of me. Okay guys, let's go ahead and get this tour started because it is so hot outside. But first here on my porch, I wanted just to give you guys a little glimpse at some vintage theater chairs that I picked up at an estate sale a couple years ago. And they're like one of my most favorite possessions. But here we go. Yes, big yellow door. Let's go ahead and go in. And I have lots of dogs and lots of animals. So if you see them pop up, don't be alarmed. But first is my little foyer. Um, this is like one of my favorite spaces to decorate. These pillows I actually made and they're gonna be part of my fall collection coming up here on my Etsy shop here pretty soon. This um, piece of flannel I got at a thrift store not too long ago, and I just thought it was like the perfect color to go up against these greens. This feed and seed warehouse sign, I actually got that at the flea market um, this year, so I just thought it looked so good up on this wall. Okay, so moving this way, this is the front of the house. This dresser I picked up at an estate sale most 90% of the stuff in the house is from estate sales or garage sales. This dresser I picked up for $50 and I loved, loved, loved the shape of it. And then this one, I always get questions. This is an actual wood box. So I just liked the writing that was on the back of it. So I hung it up on the wall and used it as a shelf. So most of the pillows in here, you guys, I sewed them myself. So they're made with lots of love. This area right here is one of my favorites. This sign, I always get asked about this sign. This is actually from where I'm from in California. This is the name of one of the newspapers there. So this was their old sign that I dug out of an old antique store in their attic. And then I just like to decorate it with like some couple little smalls. Um, this wood base, I have them all over my house. They're actually the bottom of columns and I'm just obsessed with them. This iron stone I picked up um, at an estate sale in Tennessee, but I just like to collect a lot of little small things. This big hutch I actually got for free. Someone had it in the alley. Um, so I scooped that up and redid it and I've had it forever and, and I love it. So it stays. Oh, and there's Dave. <laughs> this is a new addition that I just got at an estate sale not too long ago. This came from an old house in North Carolina and I just absolutely had to have it. It's a great place just to house all my little smalls that I have, my little collections of this and that. So that's worked out really well. And then to the front, well, Dave just went under the pillows, so that's why the pillows are messed up, but he likes to bury himself. <laughs> so this right here is just the other part of my living room. I made this dog bed right here for the dogs out of an old um, mail bag, and it turned out really cute. And the dogs seem to really like it. So if you come in through here, you have my dining room. Um, this right here, this shelf, I got um, from my hometown. My mom actually dug it out of the dumpster. It actually was in my K-12 
kindergarten um, when I grew up. So it's kind of a piece of me, I guess you'd say. It was in my kindergarten room. They threw it away. My mom dumpster dove. So this plate rack is new. I got that at the flea market not too long ago. This wonderful chippy cabinet is from one of my really good friends. And let's see here. This old frame, that was a $5 spoiler from um, a yard sale where I'm from. And then this way. I love vintage hats, so you'll find them all over my house. I just like to uh, use them in different areas. So this cabinet is one of my favorites. It's an old pie safe, chippy, amazing. I love it. Right here, I'll show you. I like to keep my old book and Bible collection in it. So yes, I'm an old book lover. So whenever I find them, I scoop them up. They're all over my house. So this is a great place to store them. And then more of those yummy, chunky columns. And then my dining table. I just picked this up this last weekend, actually. And I love her. So. And then this is my little kitchen. Cozy and cute. And when I bought this house, um, I fell in love with that sink. <laughs> That's probably why I bought the house. And the view. So outside I can see my son Zane playing, all the chickens. Um, there's a an old hay field behind us. So, you know, everything's tucked with little things that I've found out here in the south. I have found so many great things. And then if you walk through here, this is just my little gallery wall of vintage prints that I have leading up the stairs. It's not finished yet, but it's getting there. And then this hallway takes you to the bedrooms. So there's a little circle of my house, you guys. Coming in full circle. I just wanted to say thank you guys for joining in and I hope you liked it and I will see you soon. A big thank you to Kimberly for opening up her stunning home and sharing it with us here today. If you guys got inspiration, make sure you guys check her out on Instagram in the description box down below. And if you guys are loving these home tours, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on any of our videos. I will see you guys later on Living at Country and hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.